I became a physics faculty member in 1984. And other than the little bit of training I got at the beginning of my one year as a TA in grad school, the only preparation I had was to be handed a textbook and told your modern physics class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The only thing I knew to do was to teach as I was taught. Now I became quite good at it. I received awards from our graduating seniors, a term professorship from my institution for excellence in the inspirational teaching of undergraduates. But in 1999, I was asked to be a member of the National Task Force on Undergraduate Physics. This group was charged with identifying the characteristics and practices of thriving physics departments that other departments could adopt. This was at a time when the number of physics majors was in steep decline and the physics community knew that it had to do something. This task force brought me in contact with physics education researchers and their findings. And after learning about their work, I came to the conclusion that to continue to teach without using methods that are proven to be effective would constitute academic malpractice. So I learned from these experts and from their publications, and I put their findings to use in my own classroom as best I could with a lot of bumps along the way. With the zeal of the convert, I decided that everybody else should do the same. By that time, I'd become chair of my department. And so I was able to lead an effort to transform the teaching of all of our introductory physics classes to adopt research-based active learning methods. With the help of a dedicated team and two NSF grants, we were able to complete this transformation. And now even our upper division courses in many cases are using these methods and even some of our graduate courses as well. And for this work, APS declared my department to be a department of distinction for uh, supporting effective practices in undergraduate physics education. I learned from physics education research how to teach like a scientist. And now many of my colleagues have as well. Our students are the beneficiaries. <laughs>